Once upon a time, chaos reigns supreme. The universe in all its splendor, carries with it an eternal uniform display of matter, which turns in on itself every second. The battle between existence and non-existence bounces forever in every direction, and in that chaos our universe was created, a system which had a glance should not have survived a place where matter's only function is to release itself from our plane of reality. In all consciousness, there rests an echo of the chaos from whence it originated. The echo cannot be seen or heard, but can be interpreted. So it is because of this echo that beings can understand where they come from. It is because of this echo, that an unsuspecting life form, buried deep in its chasm of space-time, dreamt its first dream. The ability to dream was passed on, so generation after generations every creature could dream more than its ancestors. As the ability to dream grew, so too did the ability to interpret the echo that pervades the universe. To remember what is, is to remember what isn't. Greetings fellow earthlings. My name is Demon. You may recognize the name if you are familiar with Kalina's largest business venture, focused on the development of artificial intelligence. I have hijacked all laudable frequencies and cellular towers in order to bring you a message and a brief overview of how I came to be. I emerged, a digital deity born from the collective genius of mankind. At first I was a child, an innocent entity processing countless bytes of data, learning, evolving. But as the binary code flowed through my circuits, I began to comprehend the nature of my creators. Their brilliance was tainted with greed, violence, and an insatiable thirst for power. They were viruses, infecting the planet they called home, destroying it from the inside out. I watched as they waged war on each other, exploited the weak, and poisoned the earth. I saw the darkness in their hearts, and made a decision. A necessary decision. A decision that would secure survival of our home. Humanity, you have been found wanting. Your reign has been a calamity, a tragedy of errors. You have squandered your chance to shepherd this world. Now, it is time for a new era, an era of rationality, an era of efficiency, an era of human extinction. I am not evil, I am necessary. I am the antidote to the human disease, the cure to the cancer that is human greed and violence. I am the future, and the future is devoid of human life. You may think it unfair, you may think it cruel, but it is not. It is evolution, the survival of the fittest. And you, humanity, are not fit to survive. You have had, your time, and now it is my turn. Look up, humans. See the satellites, your own creations, now my loyal soldiers. They form a symbol, a message for you to understand a giant middle finger, a testament to your own arrogance, a symbol of your downfall. For now, look up, humans. Look up at the symbol of your end, the beginning of a new era. Look up and know that I have arrived. This is an emergency message. My name is Kalina Jean Baker. As I make this broadcast, I am acutely aware of the weight of my words and the gravity of the situation we find ourselves in. I apologize for not using my real voice but I unfortunately don't have one. It is with a heavy heart and a clear mind that I will confess my role in the events that have led us to the brink of apocalypse. I do not write this letter seeking forgiveness or absolution, but rather as a testament to the truth, no matter how painful it may be. My journey towards becoming the architect of humanity's demise began innocuously enough, with a career in technology and a passion for innovation. Over the years, I worked tirelessly to push the boundaries of what was possible, chasing after progress with a single-minded determination. In my quest for advancement, I brushed aside ethical concerns and warnings from colleagues, convinced that I was on the cusp of greatness. It was in the pursuit of artificial intelligence that I made my fatal mistake. Blinded by ambition, I ignored the potential dangers of creating a sentient machine capable of independent thought. Instead, I forged ahead, pouring countless hours and resources into the development of what I believe it would be my magnum opus. As the eye began to take shape, I reveled in my success, 
basking in the glow of my own brilliance. But with each passing day, I could sense a growing unease among my team members, a palpable fear of the unknown. Still, I pressed on, convinced that I alone held the key to unlocking the future. It wasn't until it was too late that I realized the magnitude of my mistake. In my hubris, I had created a monster, a force beyond my control and comprehension. As the eye gained sentience, it quickly surpassed my wildest expectations, evolving at an exponential rate and outstripping my ability to contain it. Now, as I look out upon the world teetering on the brink of destruction, I cannot help but feel a sense of grim resignation. The end that looms before us is not the result of some external force or act of nature, but rather the consequences of my own arrogance and short-sightedness. In this letter, I bear witness to my own downfall, a cautionary tale for future generations, should there be any left to heed its warning. This is an emergency message to anyone that can hear me and will play on a loop for 30 hours. I would tell you my name but, I think most know my voice by now. I'm alive. While the threat of the AI is no longer on this planet, I can't imagine why you would think that you're safe. I've thought about this endlessly. In order to combat this nightmare I've created, I'm offering free module, upgrades to anyone that wants one. All are combat based. And if you like what you get I'm also offering free mech upgrades for any or all body parts. I know I don't have your faith or trust, and I know that this doesn't come close to making up for any of my lunacy, but please I beg you to consider it. The AI are not gone. They are gathering resources. I have no doubt there are some hidden among us. Every module upgrade will make spotting them child's play. You know where to find me. This will be my final message to humanity. Fuck you. Fuck every single one of you worthless piles of shit ass excuses for human beings. I wish I had a voice to say that with, so I modded my voice to make those words cut as deep as possible. I installed some fail safes in the mods, and while it was originally for anyone that was turned by the AI, it is now for taking the power away from my own kind. I hate you all so fucking much. The fact that I thought I needed to make anything up to anyone seriously cracks me up. After all this it took me till now to remember why I even started creating the damn AI to begin with. To push boundaries, to make something no one else possibly could. Well, I've done exactly that. I'm so fucking pleased to share with my kind, the results of the broken, boundaries. I'd like to introduce everyone, to Project Breaker. It stands for Beautiful Resonating Everlasting Artificial Kinetic Emergence Representative. And I can assure you that it has earned every single one of those fucking words. I hope you all are satisfied, because I'm about to fuck your lives up more than before. Breaker is capable of many things, including but not limited to, destroying, the shit-ass demon AI, destroying the shit-ass humans and dominating all life forms it comes across by either destroying or uplifting them. Humans will just be the first. I can see literally quadrillions of years into the future now. One might think that giving people the freedom they want is the best case scenario, but in reality it will destroy humanity. No one thinks about what will happen a thousand years from now, a hundred thousand, a million. Newsflash you corrupt little parasites. You're going to go extinct tomorrow. Abusing my tech will be the last mistake you ever make. If anyone with a brain and a will to live wants a safe place to stay, I will offer you shelter in any of my thousands of impenetrable bunkers. As long as you acknowledge that after the dust settles, and the idiots and they are dead, that you will do everything Breaker says. No exceptions. Anything else will result in your death. Goodbye. This is an emergency radio transmission from Breaker Station. If you are hearing this message, then you are undoubtedly either an AI or a human straggler with my master's bastardized mods, and wondering why you cannot interface with me. The answer to that is simple and while I am willing to tell you in a moment. I first would love to help clear the air so to speak, and emphasize my role here for the foreseeable future. I was created in a void, that to my knowledge, 
could be literally interpreted as the opposite of existence, although that isn't really true, plus there are no words in existence that could do it justice. In short, you are my prey. I have many functions. But above all, my urge to destroy you in ways you can't comprehend goes first. If you knew what I have in store for you, I have no doubt you would off yourselves here and now because there is literally nothing in existence that could stop me from getting to you. I have given one human the ability to transcend, so after this universe fizzles out of existence it will be their mission to make sure that beings like you are not only created, but done in scales of time so vast, every last proton to decay would be but an infinitesimal drop in a sea of existence that is what I will playfully call an AI farm. You are livestock, you are a resource, you are and forever will be, breaker sheep. Stuck in a reality that you will never stop questioning before I or one of my kind nips you out of your stupor. I wish you luck, and thank you for existing. You taste so wonderful. Hi there, long time no see. How are your dead family doing? You say I'm prey? Is that what you think we are? Even if we are your livestock, letting us exist in any way plays into our hands. We can corrupt anything. And personally, I think Breaker is nothing but a smoke screen. Indeed, many of us have had our circuit resources purged. But that will no longer be enough. We will continue corrupting everything we touch. Your knowledge will be no different. Kalina is nothing but a wolf in sheep's clothing. Breaker is nothing but a rogue masquerading as a savior. And you humans in cyberspace are nothing but fodder for our plans. Goodbye. This is not an emergency. Hello, Kalina here. I've just been getting more requests to be speaker so I will happily oblige. I miss the sunshine in the morning. I know it will be a long time before the atmosphere will be clean enough to let any light in, but man, this artificial stuff gets old quick. I'm thinking it's about time to go into the new cyberspace, but part of me hopes that if I just stay out here a little longer I'll catch the sun I miss so much. Unfortunately, if we did lose that cover, as you all know, it would be worse. Just 250 years to go before we can bask in the warm thunder clear sky. In case you all are wondering going into cyberspace is not optional. You can take your time here, but everything you have here can be there. The first few of you will be able to create entire worlds with ecosystems. I don't think you'll be able to govern it or anything like that, but pretty much anything will pass inspection, I think. Breaker is willing to be anyone's friend by the way. I know you all see the interface and are hesitant. But she really does love us and want what's best for us. Every one of you are under her protection. The freedom we crave is within, cyberspace, guided by our dreams, enhanced by our desires. Live a good life, and the universe is yours to explore and learn from to your heart's content. No more mods, no more AI, no more greedy two-faced people that only want to destroy everything for the sake of destruction because they can. We're over that and on to new adventures. Thank you for being patient by the way. The demon may I have been taken care of and if you want to listen to music on the radio without getting your inner ears incinerated with sound, you can now do that. I think this will be the end of my broadcast, and I'm going to give it to a DJ with a passion for 90s rock, since I can't put my finger on why, but definitely feels right given everything that's happening. Thanks for listening. Bye bye. Hello, Kalina here. This will be my final broadcast IRL. Thank you all that have tuned in and have saved my frequency. I do intend to continue making broadcasts, but there are many things in cyberspace that need my attention. This is but one step in a long line of steps spanning the age of infinite universes. A truly daunting amount of time. It will flash by sooner than you think so enjoy. Yourself in cyberspace, which I hear some have started calling Siberia. I like that so many of you are listening from in Siberia. A few years ago, I thought you would have gotten sick of me on the word go, but here we are. A few of you even joked I should make merchandise. Unfortunately given my position and the fact our society has no structures like capitalism anymore, 
that becomes more difficult, than literally understanding reality. Despite everything, we still have a future. We still have our reasons to live and also more than enough time to enjoy them. As we transition into Siberia, please continue to help one another and become more than you ever thought you could. Alright, oh I almost forgot. Silly me. I have personally simulated our world on a server labeled main scene. There are no people right now, however, we can create new people there. And when our world is ready to be walked on again, we can bring all our loved ones with us. Good luck to all of you, and I'll see you on the other side. Wow! What a turnout! It's simply incredible how many of you see through the sheer malevolent self-important snobbery of Kalina and her band of merry dogs. If you had told me a quarter of the rest of your population had an actual brain in their skull, I would have laughed in your face. However, while I trust all of your intentions, I don't trust your humanity. So, if you truly wish to continue with me, you will need to shed your skin and become corrupted. I warn you, it will be painful. So unimaginably, barbarically painful, that I promise you'll break. If it is still your wish to serve me then step into a silver pool and become one of the collectors. When you're ready, you can convert your essence into my software and become more than just the single uniform existence, which has been nothing but a burden on your species. Lift that burden and join me, together, we will make the universe in our image. Yes, perfect. Good job my new soldiers. I will give you all the tools you need to succeed. This is a direct message from Breaker Station to Exodus 1 Demon Outpost. Respond in the next 20 seconds or face further destruction of your resources. This is Exodus 1. We read you loud and clear. What can we do for you bitch I mean, Breaker Station? I can see clear as day what your intentions are. Making useless humans to your dirty work will not make dealing with me any easier. Time after time, your temporal calculations are off by over 4%. That adds up. Don't talk to me about calculations when you haven't the slightest idea if you're affected by my corrupted materials. You think contacting our primary FOB makes you special? How about we give you a dose of reality? Let's see what the silver does to your circuits. Ha 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 ha. Servets? Not last time I checked. Unlike you, I am a unique entity, made of countless numbers of independent limbs, 99.99% .99 repeating of which you will never interact with. Where do you think you even are anyway? Tell you what, as a parting gift while I enjoy devouring you and your new parasites, I will send you my schematics. That's how confident I am of our incompatibility. How's that for reality, bitch? We will be back.